Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. In this video I want to look at mask interpolation. So to do that we're going to use a text mask. So how might we do that? Well, let's see we're going to write a letter S for instance and we need to convert that to a mask path. So we take so we take this letter S and we go to the layer and we're going to go to create create mask from text. That's going to create S outlines so we can delete that and now we have our mask path. All right, so we may want to rotate the mask. So for instance, we could do a mask path here, and then we can rotate it, Control T, we can double click as well, and we'll just go round and round and round, and then shift when we get near, and that's going to do, and you can see what happens. Essentially, it's trying to draw the line directly, so it doesn't actually interpolate correctly. So what we can do then is, we can look at the settings that we get. So you can see if we use linear vertex paths, what this actually means is it's trying to draw a point directly from one point to the other. So because the quickest way to do it is to draw like this point to this point, it's it's kind of like, it, that's why it has to go tiny basically. So if you just disable that and then press apply on this. So if you just disable it and then press apply, you can see you're going to get a different shape. But you can see it's sort of bouncing around now. So that also isn't what you want. So what you need to do then is you need to actually look at your first vertex point. So the first vertex point is this one over here. So generally you want to have one in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll just change the first vertex point to be somewhere like that. So then we'll put layer and then first marks and then we'll do set first vertex right in the middle there. Okay, so what that means, right, is that it will rotate better when we do the, uh, when we do this. So then we can do this. 